more people want to get an idea of what their path is going to look like. Um, to understand, okay, this person has the job that I want, how did they get there? And a lot of times we'll talk about those individual steps, but not the whole story arc. And I think what would be really helpful is to have more of that, have more of those discussions of the in-betweens, of how did you find that job? Or, or networking is one of those things that's so scary, we know it's so essential, but understanding that networking isn't uncomfortably putting out business cards, it's actually forming connections with people. And I think that that is what's going to be really important going forward is having more and more visibility, not just of these big steps in a career path, but also the little day-to-day -day changes that happen as you figure out what you want to do. So the question of what I'm going to do in the future is constantly changing. And that was really scary early on. It was probably one of the hardest things I dealt with early on in my PhD career. And as time has gone by, I get more used to the fact that I might have an idea of what my job is, I might have a vague idea of what my career is, but it's going to be changing and that's really exciting. And so instead, what I've been trying to focus on is finding out what my strengths and weaknesses are. And I'm not an especially good researcher. I love reading and writing, but I'm not great at the bench and that's okay. And I really like talking to people. I like to do this kind of community building. And so instead of looking at it, of trying to fix all of these weaknesses, I'm trying to figure out what career would allow me to enjoy my strengths and also get a little bit better at those things that I'm not so good at yet.